Hey you guys, Amanda here. Rebels Against Government, no end because we don't like nuts in it. I'm now going by hashtag Southern Bell Give em Hell. <laughs> um, I almost missed the paper today because I went to Arkansas to visit some relatives. It's Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys are relaxing, enjoying yourself, and paying respects to the people that sacrifice. At least we forget, you know what I mean? Um, the front of the news star, I almost missed it, but Missouri and Louisiana versus Biden ETL. Okay, you guys, this is the big freaking deal, and I'm kind of ticked off that I'm not one of the plaintiffs, okay? Um, everybody knows I've harped on it ever since it occurred. I was illegally censored and banned during a statewide election in 2019. I was legally qualified to run for office for Louisiana Secretary of State. I was completely censored and banned. I had requested the code for Facebook. All my links were broken. I was demonized for my flag back here, which is my documented heritage. So going against that technically and attacking me for that is discrimination. It's... I mean, a violation of my human rights, my civil rights, my federal rights, all of it, okay? But this case was filed for illegal censorship. They have five plaintiffs. It was being heard in Monroe, Louisiana. Why am I not a plaintiff? This, uh, what is this woman's name? Hold on, y'all. Kyle... Snow, attorney representing the federal government, said that the plaintiff's claims were speculative and hypothetical. Ain't none of my stuff speculative or hypothetical. I documented it clearly. I've been a paralegal for 22 years. I document everything I do. I don't walk across the street <laughs> without documenting it, and I wasn't jaywalking. You know what I mean? And this kind of upsets me. I will be calling... Um, some of these people involved in this, and I'm going to find out why I'm not involved as a party. I have more of a claim than these people do. I think I need to enter into this lawsuit. I think the fact that I wasn't included in this lawsuit is questionable. My ideas for Secretary of State were utilized. They passed bills. I'm the one that proved there were outside citizens voting in our elections. That was me. The fact that I'm not hurt in this is just crazy. You know, I suffered a political hit in June 2020 in Shreveport. They made this fake messenger. They put this video on TikTok and had some woman saying something in the background that was not me. But they wrote it under me. So everybody thought it was me. It resorted in gang stalking. It's resorted in blackballing. It's resorted in financial oppression, not being allowed to work. My emails are still being tampered with. My cell phone is still being tampered with. You guys, this went to a level you can't even comprehend. And I be damned, they're going to violate my human rights, my civil rights, my federal rights, and censor me as a legally qualified candidate for office and treat me like I'm a moron. I'm not having it. No, I didn't advertise. No, I didn't join their pay-to-play. I don't accept those donations. You know why? You accept that $5,000 they offer, and you don't go along with what they want you to go along with later on down the line if you get that seat. Guess what? They get to fine you. So basically, they're selling the seat. I'm not going to do all that stuff. I'm not going to go put signs out there where I can get fined because somebody goes and moves my sign. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that stupid. If they don't want a woman that knows what the hell's going on in office, I can't help them. You know what I'm saying? But I want to help the little people. I'm tired of paying $14 for some fast food and the people still making seven twenty five dollars an hour. Okay? I'm tired of paying all these taxes and not being able to vote in the city where all my tax money's going. I'm tired of being treated less than 
because you don't have a degree or you're not pedigree enough to have a degree for them to control you. You know, I'm of the idea that if you can pass the bar exam without a college credit and spending money, more power to you. You should be able to do so. I don't like being suppressed. I don't like being lied on. I don't like being terrorized. But the fact that other people are being able to present a censorship case and it's being heard right there in Monroe, Louisiana when I have every bit of information and can back it up as a legally qualified candidate for office, that's a problem to me. I'm just saying. I'm running for office again this year. I don't expect much difference, but I'm hoping and praying word of mouth is going to get me in a seat where I can run my mouth. Because I'm going to tell you what, honey, this Southern Bell right here is going to give them hell. They stole my Rebels Against Government page. It had 156,000 likes. I reached millions. I got Upcharge, Jelly Roll, several other artists viral. I was the one that got the anti-Hillary memes viral. And then a platform called Democrat Global tried to buy my page from me with a number that originated from Russia. Okay? They were trying to prove Trump was involved with Russia with my page. Okay? That's insane. It was me. I, I take credit for it. Freedom of speech. I still have that right. And I'll be damned they're going to railroad road over it. Just not going to stand for it. Um, I'll be making some calls next week. It shouldn't be too late to add a, add a party to this lawsuit. Because I'm the one that can bring it home, honey. <laughs>